G'day, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to go over one of the hardest bridge problems I've ever seen, and I wanted to break down all the different aspects of it and walk you through it. For this, this is actually a bridge master uh, problem. If you haven't seen Bridge Master, it's a fantastic training tool where it teaches you all about declare a play. So if you go into practice, then up to Bridge Master on BBO, it's got five different levels, and uh, these levels are probably misnamed. Level one is already difficult; that will trip people up. Um, level two is quite advanced level three i would put as expert level four is really hard and level five this is not understated but world class these are really tough challenges for anyone uh, in bridge so here the problem that i found was just pure by chance a c29 of level five so if you want to give it a shot yourself go in there you can mess around uh, but here, I want to go over the different aspects of this. So here, this problem, we get to six no trumps, and it's important in the bidding, we've had this two club bid, which was a Michael's Q bid. So here, we've got uh, West showing 5-5 five, five in the majors. Now, there is a lot to break down in this hand, and I want to go over different aspects of it one by one and sort of walk you through it. But just for starters, let's just make a rudimentary plan. So here we're in no trumps and we've got two spade winners. We've got two heart winners. We've got two club winners and a diamond. We've got seven tricks here. We need to find five more. Now, uh, here, what first thing I like to do is work out what we know from the, the bidding here. So here, West bid two clubs. They have shown five, five in the majors. So I've only got three cards in the minors. So we also know in the majors that East only has one heart and East has three spades. And we don't know exactly what the minors are. The next thing that I like to do here is just be a bit optimistic. When we need to find five tricks, you need to consider what are your options. And here, if we look at it and say, well, I, I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but let's say we got four club tricks and we got three diamond tricks. Maybe the diamond finesse works. Well, we're up to seven tricks in the minors, two hearts and two spades. We're still at 11 tricks. After you get over this hurdle of getting every single minor suit trick there is, we're still a trick short. So then you have to work out, well, where can we get, potentially get a trick in the majors even though we know West is 5-5. Five, five. And this is where I would start to think, okay, maybe we need to squeeze them in the majors somehow. And this is the important uh, aspect that we need to get to. So here, for this hand, what we want to break down is firstly, these clubs, there's a big issue. We're missing the queen and the 10. So I want to go over what options we've got there in the club suit. Uh, diamonds, we just need the finesse to work. Uh, then the next thing I want to look at is uh, entries and also uh, what potential squeezes we could do on the opponents here. So let's work backwards from here and just look at some squeezes that you can do. So what a squeeze is, is understanding that you're limited by having 13 cards in your hand and then that decreases. And sometimes you want to hold uh, too many cards than what you're actually allowed. You feel this squeeze, this pressure, and you have to throw away uh, in a suit that you want to hold on. Now we know West has both mages. So if we can make them throw too many spades or too many hearts, maybe one of our suits comes good. So to do a normal squeeze, what you need to do is... Uh, have it so that you've only got one loser left and you've got all but one of the tricks. Uh, this is where like 99% of squeezes actually happen. Uh, but on this one, there is a little bit of a difficulty here in doing that because another thing we need is entries. So uh, for instance, if we wanted to just lose a spade to the opponents early, so we played a spade and then uh, got back uh, to this south hand and then just gave up a spade what's going to happen is they get to win there and we can discard you know a heart um, but what happens is they'll just play a heart and another important aspect for squeezes is communication between the two hands now uh We've still got communication in clubs and diamonds between the two hands, but at the end, we want to be able to say, you don't know if I'm going to have spade winners or you don't know if I'm going to have heart winners. 
and they have to like, we want them to commit before they know where we're going to go. But here with the Ace of Hearts gone, we won't be able to either get to the Hearts if they're winners or the Spades if they're winners. We'll have to tell the opponents what winners we actually have here. So if we ever lose a trick to East or West here to get to that appropriate amount of losers, they're just going to knock out our other heart entry and the, the communication on this hand is just going to be terrible. So for squeezes, uh, we can't do any of these uh, simple squeezes. I do want to show you how this would work if they didn't knock out our heart. So let's say that after they won, they did something and silly and they just played a club and that picked up the club suit for us. So here, if they did this, what we can actually do is let's just run all of our minor suit winners. And now that we still have that ace of hearts, we'd be able to squeeze them. So I'll be able to show you what uh, they can happen. We're just going to get all but one of the tricks and then I'll show you how this actually works. So here, uh, they can discard. And now on this final trick, I'll open it up so that you can see what's actually happening to them. So here they've got two spades and they've got two hearts. If they throw a spade away, both of our spades are good. If they throw a heart away, both of our hearts are good. But for this to actually work, notice we have to be able to get to that heart that I mentioned before. And this only is doing anything, making life really difficult for them because we can get to those hearts. If they did knock out that ace of hearts, well, we wouldn't be able to get up to that north hand. They'd be able to just throw a heart here and be fine. So here they have to continue that heart and that's why this squeeze doesn't work in uh, that scenario. So we'll be having to look at fancy squeezes and I wanna come back to that, but we do need to squeeze the opponent somehow. We can't afford to let them in because as we saw, uh, the entries are ruined. Let's now take a look at the club suit. So let's go back to the start. Okay, so for this club suit, if we're focusing on this, we need to get over the challenge of we need four winners in this suit. And there are sort of three potential things that we could be trying on this. Uh, the first one that we could hope for is that there's just a doubleton queen of clubs. If we take the ace king of clubs, the queen could fall and then uh, all of our clubs are winners. So that's the first one. Take the ace king and hope the queen falls. The second one that we could hope for is that uh, West has a doubleton 10. And what you can actually do here is take a finesse by leading the jack. And because the club 10 is a shortage, it's going to fall under the ace king and we've pinned it by leading the jack. So how that would look, so is if we just take the ace of hearts and uh, lead the jack of clubs. Well, if east covers here and then the 10 does fall, doubleton, now our 9-8 are, are all winners here. So uh, you can lead the jack and hope for a singleton 10 or doubleton 10 uh, in the west. Or the final option in this clubs is we could hope that east has both the queen and the 10. So we could do something like lead the jack and if they cover, great. And then uh, we can go back up to this north hand and then uh, finesse again and lead the nine, hoping that they've got the 10 here. So they're the options that we want to be considering here. Do we want to play for doubleton queen? Do we want to play for doubleton 10? Do we want to play for queen 10 on site? These are our options we have to weigh up. And they're all worth considering. You want to think, well, what do we expect from the West hand? What do we think in terms of points? We know West has a, you know, one or two clubs. So Dalton 10, Dalton Queen, they seem quite likely. East having the Queen 10, still also promising. One other thing that we want to take a look at is entries. Notice here that this north hand's getting a bit short of entries. I already mentioned we want to potentially uh, be doing squeezes and we need those entries to uh, that north hand. To finesse uh, clubs twice, we need too, too many entries. So while playing east for both the queen and the ten of clubs, the entries don't really permit for us to do that. So the next thing we have to choose is do we want to play them for a doubleton ten or a doubleton queen? 
And this is where it comes back to, well, we haven't even talked about what kind of strain squeeze do we actually want to do to get this extra trick. We, we mentioned we can't duck a spade. So what options are left for us? And this is where we get super fancy and is like, what on earth is going on? And the possibilities of what you can actually do in the card play here. So for this one, it's hard to explain, but we have to confuse West, make them commit to which suit they're guarding before they know which hand we've actually got entries to. We have to do something called an entry shifting squeeze. And how this actually operates is, uh, well, it, it'll be easier if I just show you here. So the way we actually do this problem is uh, we have to block up the hearts. So we need to win the ace of hearts uh, first up. And then we need to just go straight into uh, finessing the diamonds. So we'll lead the queen of diamonds. And uh, if they don't cover, we have to get rid of this 10 because we need lots of entries. We need to be able to always be in that north hand. And we'll lead another diamond. If they cover now, uh, what we have to do is just go back up to that north hand in diamonds. And here they win. And at this stage, now what we have to do in clubs is we do have to play for that doubleton 10. And this comes back to the type of squeeze we need to do. I'll, I'll address this again later. But after the jack of clubs, uh, if they uh, cover it, great, uh, we'll win. And then we need to play the ace of clubs and we see the 10 fall and we have to throw away the nine or the eight. We have to keep this five because if you look at the clubs, we could make the win the final round of clubs with the six or with the sort of nine and having that five to either be able to go high or low there can really help us here. So let's throw away the eight. And then at this stage, we can play the final club and I'll open it up and show you what problems uh, West actually has here. Okay, they have to make a discard here, but they don't know where we're going to be winning this fourth round of clubs. We could choose to take, play the nine on this trick, or we could choose to play the five. Do we want more entries to the spades, or do we want more entries to the clubs here? So let's look at what happens if we do either way. So here, they have to commit to where we want more uh, before we decide. Now, if they choose to throw spades, we want more entries to the south hand. So we would uh, unblock the nine now, winning that first club. And then we can take the king of spades and then come back down uh, to the six of clubs. And they can throw a heart away. They know they're not useful. But at this stage, we can just play ace of spades and uh, we'll give up a spade at this final time uh, to the West player. And then they have to play a heart back to us and our final spades a winner. So let's go back to, well, what if they don't throw a spade? What if they throw a heart? So if they throw a heart here, we do the opposite. We now keep the five and use the nine as an entry there. We untangle the king of hearts and they have to throw that away. And then we go over to our nine of clubs and we give them a, a heart trick. And we're not going to get our ace of spades, but we've set up all those hearts. Those long hearts are good and the dummy's good there. So this is an entry shifting squeeze. And it's also a weird thing called a crisscross squeeze as well, where we've blocked both spades and hearts, but we're making them decide which suit they're going to unguard. And then we use the uh, entry there to get back. So... Lots of hurdles there. So really cool squeeze. Let's look at the club position once more of what we're trying to do. So we're leading a club here. We're making West choose what they're going to discard first. And then we choose which hand we want more entries to. We're squeezing them by them making them commit before they know which hand we have more entries. That's all we're really doing there. And we're just changing which hand we've got entries in. And based on that, that's why we actually need to play West for a doubleton 10 of clubs. 
So if we go back and look at what the club position actually is, if we play for any of the other options, we actually get ourselves stuck. So let's take a look back at the start of this uh, club position. So here, how it works differently if we think that maybe they've got a double twin queen of clubs is we can't do that fancy squeeze that we were trying to do. Uh, you could play a eight of clubs and then you can actually play the ace of clubs here, dropping the queen uh, and keep your jack and five. But the issue here is that when we play a club, because the 10 of clubs is still out, West knows we have to play the Jack. So if we have to play the Jack here, they can abandon hearts and we don't have the entries there to actually untangle it there. So because the 10 still out, it's not going to work. We need East's cards to be uh, not relevant here. Now, this is why you need to play for them to have the queen and you need to lead the jack first up, preserving your ace or king so that we've got that committal chance that when we lead that final club from the south end, we can actually make a choice of plays from uh, whether we want to play the higher club or the low club here. So the fact of how fancy the squeeze is we're trying to do means that this club play where we've got all those different options, it actually points us to the only way that we can actually do that is if West has a doubleton tenor clubs. You could play for queen 10 doubleton, uh, but that's worse odds than just uh, 10 small doubleton. So all in all, this hand had a lot. And I thought this was like a super interesting, unbelievably tough hand. Have you found any other hands that are as challenging or as crazy as this one? If you have, let me know. I'd love to hear about them and potentially break it down. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.